Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Outdoor Outdoorsman. In this video, I wanna review the Osprey Scarab 18 liter backpack. Um, this has been a backpack I've been using for quite a while now. Um, and it's a backpack that also comes with a 2.5 liter hydration bladder. And I'm not actually gonna be talking about that in the review. And I may not do a review on it in the future, uh, primarily because I don't wanna review it. Um, it's a good hydration bladder. Do not get me wrong. Um, one of the things this does actually come with though, um, if you do like hydration bladders, is it does come with a magnetic um, grip for the hydration bladder, which does work really well. Um, and I found that work really well, but I'll get into why I'm not big on the hydration bladder in this in the future, or in later in the review, but the hydration bladder is good, but I'm not gonna really review into that much further. Um, so I bought this as a l smaller backpack. I wanted something that I could carry less in and not be tempted to carry more in. I have about a 30 liter Elevine Continental backpack. And quite frankly, I tended to carry too much in it. So I wanted something I could carry less in. So this ended up footing the bill and it fit perfectly on me. Uh, this backpack, uh, one of the things I like about it is the back has a lot of this mesh on the back of it uh, that breathes really well. Though I will say, while they say it breathes really well, if you're like me and you sweat a decent amount, you're still going to sweat a lot and get soaked with the sweat. Um, these shoulder straps also do breathe really well with it. The chest straps work really well. And if you do like using hydration bladders, it does have a magnetic um, bit with it. So if you use the magnetic uh, clips with your hydration bladders, if you buy an aftermarket one then rather than the one that comes with this, that is a bonus and it works pretty decent. Um, when I did use hydration bladder with this, it actually worked really well. Uh, one of the things I'm not a big fan of, but it works decent, is the uh, spaghetti straps at the bottom, or like the spaghetti webbing. Um, it's not super fantastic, but it gets the job done. Um, for a big guy like me, I'm not, like I'm not small, but I'm not big. It just fits me. So I wish they had put a little bit more on that, but at the same time, so you can tell this is kind of aimed for people who are smaller. And I'm about average size for a guy like myself. Um, I don't super work out all the time, but at the same time, I'm not super overweight. So you could tell this is aimed at, well, skinnier guys. Anyways, it fits really well on the shoulders. I'm not always finding I'm lifting it up the straps are really comfortable on the shoulders and that's really important for me. So I've worn this on multi-mile hikes and it doesn't really bear down on my shoulders. And quite frankly, I require that in a backpack. So, and that's, I've, I've started to own some more Osprey backpacks and I'm finding that tends to be uh, quite common with them. And I'm, I'm really starting to dig a lot of Osprey stuff. Now, storage. This store, this, um, backpack has a few different storage options. They're not many, to be quite frank. Um, the front, it has the uh, bungees, which I tend to use to store my hiking poles when they're folded up. Um, and they're, it holds them in pretty well. You can use it to hold in a, a jacket, which I've also done, um, or something like that for easy access. Um, on the sides, it can hold a regular size Nalgene or a 40 ounce clean canteen, which I tend to do. On the back, as I said, hydration bladder. I'm not gonna get into this one too much. And this one I'm gonna talk about a little bit more, but it can hold up to a 2.5 liter hydration bladder. My big problem with this, and I, one of the reasons why I stopped bringing it, it's not that comfortable. 
Um, it is hard on the back where there would be a hydration bladder, but I found when you had a full hydration bladder on the back, it tended to bulge onto you more than the stuff inside, especially if you were carrying a decent amount. So one of the issues was it just didn't fit well. And that's with it being as, as sold. Um, there, I could do some aftermarket stuff to this if I wanted to, to improve it, but that's not what you do for a review. Um, so it is, it bulges out on the back and quite frankly that can kind of be a little uncomfortable, as I found. Um, but yeah, that's one of the reasons why I stopped carrying a hydration bladder and switched back to bottles. Plus I tend to use bottles more than I use hydration bladders, but I found that to be pretty uncomfortable. On the top, you have a small pocket. They can keep some quick access stuff, and it also comes with a clip that you can clip keys to, a ferro rod to, whatever, what have you. I found this is perfect for carrying some quick access stuff, like if you want to carry a small survival kit in it, like this, an Altoids tin in it, um, some food, I tend to carry my food in here, a flashlight, um, a battery pack, um, things like that. Uh, I tend, that's where I tend to carry a lot of stuff, sometimes my keys if I want to, or things, a lot of things I want to be able to access right away rather than having to dig into the big, big pouch. It's perfect for that, and I've, I tend to have a lot of uh, good experiences with that top pouch. Um, and it holds a decent amount of food. I've been able to store a good amount of bars in there, enough for at least one day. Um, I wouldn't care this for a multi-day trip, but it's an 18-liter pack. If you're carrying this for a multi-day kit trip, as some people have asked me with some of my previous backpack trips, backpack reviews, then no, I would not recommend this for a multi-day trip, unless you're using a pack sled or using, you know, a pack mule. Uh, so then move on to the big, big compartment. It's 18 liters. There really isn't anything, any bells and whistles to this other than a don uh, deep pouch. In this, I tend to keep any pouches, um, sometimes some extra, like, meals for the day, uh, any equipment that I need for the day in there. Um, I also sometimes tend to, it's enough that I can keep a jacket in there that I need to for the day, and it's enough that I have all that stuff in there. Um, and maybe some extra room. I, I had enough stuff in there that I had a first aid kit, a jacket, a meal, some extra incidentals, and then I had room for souvenirs when I was at the Grand Canyon with this thing. Um, this thing is perfect for either, I'm just finishing, I think about a four mile hike with this thing. Um, and I barely even went into this thing once. Um, I managed to get some water, some snacks, but I had my camera on me and I had some extra stuff. It's perfect for those, but then you can even go even further. 12 mile hike if you really want to, 20 mile hike and have everything you really need into this in this backpack. You really don't need much on those hikes and this is perfect. It's light, it's quick, and if you want to throw it off, it comes off in a snap. Um, well, two snaps, but you know what I mean. I found this thing to be light and I used this when I went to a lot of national parks um, during my recent honeymoon and this thing was with me every step of the way. Um, if you want to tighten it up, you do have these two snaps on both sides that can help tension it up to make it thinner or to tighten everything down. And you can do that. Um, I don't do that a lot, but sometimes I do if I'm going into some tight areas. But this thing is a really good backpack and I'm glad I bought it. And especially after the honeymoon, this thing came in useful because we did do some, we didn't do a lot of long hiking, but I did some long hiking with this before we went on that trip. And this thing was 
essential during those hikes when before the honeymoon and then during the honeymoon this was perfect because it was small it fit in my luggage and then on the hike out it's like on those hikes out there this thing was good enough that I could just pack what I needed for the day. We did some small hikes while we're out there, and this thing was on my back during those hikes. Um, enough that when we needed water or food while we're on the desert, in some areas, this is all I needed. And if I needed a jacket, I had this. Um, and now I also have a really great backpack that when I want to do a light hike and don't want to carry a lot with me, this is perfect. And this has become one of my favorite backpacks I have. So as I said, this is the Osprey Scarab 18. And it's quite frankly, a really good light backpack for someone who's looking for a low profile light backpack. Um, and if you want to see it on someone's bag, bag, I mean, back, sorry. I just, as I said, just got off a, a, not a short hike, but didn't eat much on it. See, it, it doesn't show much. So it sticks to your back pretty short. And the reason why I'm low to the ground, I didn't bring a tripod because with this backpack, you really don't have much room. But yeah, as I said, this backpack is a really great backpack. And I would recommend it to anyone if you're looking for the style of backpack. Um, if you like it, I'll put a, I'll put a uh, link down below. Um, to where you can find it. It'll be an Amazon affiliate link, which helps out the channel, but um, it's about an $80 backpack, and I really do think it's last time I checked, and it really is worth it, but if you're looking for that style, feel free to check it out. But anyways, you guys have a good day. Remember, get out in the woods. Have fun. My name's Nate. I'm the Outdoor Dorsum. See everyone.